You've probably noticed that when your users or when you get an error message in Bubble, that it's just a native browser-based message. It doesn't quite look like, or it's not branded like your app. Bubble actually gives us a way to create and brand our own custom messages. Let's jump in and have a look. So the typical one is we're trying to log in, but we get the password incorrect. Now, usually Bubble would show us just a browser-based message. Okay, let me grab a user and I'll put in incorrect password. Okay, so there's the user, random password, click login. And you can see that this is a beautiful branded custom error message. Sorry, there's not the right password. Please try again. That's got the BuildCamp logo. This is basically what we want. This is super slick and trustworthy as well. So how do we do this? So the trick is we have to click on a blank square here in the workflow section and go down to an unhandled error occurs. An unhandled error occurs, okay? And what we're going to do that when that unhand unhandled error occurs, we're going to set a state to a pop-up to then present that message in the pop-up. So create a new custom state in, in a, sorry, create a pop-up first. After you've created the pop-up, create a custom state. Now this is just going to be called error message and it's just type text. That's all it is. Then Bubble will give us the option to set the state through the current workflows errors message. So we set a state to the pop-up and then we show the pop-up. So what I did is I created this simple pop-up here, branded it so it looks like basically my own app. And then I'm just accessing the state from the pop-up. So here it is here. So the pop-ups, error message, which is the state. And then don't forget that when you do click try again, that you just reset that state, okay? So I'm hiding the pop-up, resetting the state back to null. Okay, so the main thing to remember here is an unhandled error occurs. When that occurs, set a state based on the current workflow errors message. And then use that state how you like within your app. Ideally, you show a pop-up or it could be, you know, an error message or an alert, whatever you like. Let's look at this one, one more time. Click login. And there it is. Beautifully branded custom error handling. Now, we're in the process of rebuilding BuildCamp, so you will start to see a lot of these because we just want a real proprietary feel to our user experience.